Hello, I'm Ariel from the Inconspicuous Bear, and I'll be narrating the 10-man version of the Fallen Protectors encounter in the Siege of Ogrimmar from a Guardian point of view. This encounter is a council-style encounter with three different bosses, Rook Stonetoe, He Softfoot, and Sun Tenderheart, each of which has different abilities, some of which I will explain to you as you'll have to worry about them, some of which you can just ignore because they affect the raid as a whole and aren't really of any concern to you. Of these three bosses, only two are actually tankable. Rook and He will require each require a tank, while Sun will just sit in the middle and spam spells on people. Rook's main ability that you have to be aware of if you're tanking him is something called Vengeful Strikes. He'll immediately stun the, his main threat target and then deal 180,000 physical damage every half second for 3 seconds. This is a cone effect, so if there's anyone behind you, they will also get hit by the damage, but they won't get hit by the stun. Now, basically, you want to keep him faced away from everyone, every other member of your raid, um, but the damage itself to you is pretty pitiful because it will be reduced by armor and any passive damage reduction effects. So it's hardly any damage to you, but it will do a lot of damage to everyone sitting behind you. He's primary tank ability is called Gouge. Every so often he'll start casting a spell called Gouge, which will appear on his cast bar. If this hits you and you are facing him, you will be disoriented for six seconds and he'll randomly fixate on another target until he's taunted. Um, this is generally bad because if he fixates on a DPS and or a healer as it's wailing on them, they might die. You can easily counter this by simply turning away from him while he's casting Gouge, and instead of disorienting you, he will just simply knock you a couple yards. Once a boss loses 33% of their health, they will enter what's called a Desperate Measures phase. You saw Sun's Desperate Measures phase at the start of the video, where she conjured like a bubble over top of herself and there was ads, and you basically just sat in the middle, faced the boss away from the raid, and just ate a weed. That's all you have to worry about for that one. He's Desperate Measured Phase conjures in embodied anguish, uh, or some sort of anguish thing. You can see that in the uh, th that black mob right there. And it will fixate on whoever has the mark of anguish on them. You can see the extra action button on my screen. You can use the extra action button to p pass it to someone else if you're taking too much damage, um, but as a tank, it's hardly noticeable and you can just there and, and take it the entire time. One thing to note is if you do have the mark of anguish you will be rooted and cannot move. When Rook enters his desperate measures phase he splits into three different adds misery, sorrow, and gloom. As the Rook tank you'll be picking up gloom by interrupting him and dragging him on top of sorrow. Now sorrow just casts an infernal strike. You can see a yellow circle right there uh, on a random person so you stack up and split the damage. Now misery is uh, it gains an ability called Defiled Ground. Defiled Ground hits an area in a cone in front of them uh, for physical damage, and then that area becomes kind of shod. I guess that's a word you want to use. Um, you can see the shadow, shadowy kind of areas on the ground before. Um, deals 80,000 damage, shadow damage per second while standing on top of it, so you can't drag it on, on top of uh, Sorrow and Gloom, so, which means that the He tank will, will pick up Misery and just drag him around uh, until it's dead. The only other thing to be aware of for positioning is that He can gain a ability called Noxious Poison, which when on the next successful attack will create a basically a cloud of poison underneath your feet. Um, obviously you can't stack with other people while this is happening, because um, otherwise you'll be causing them extra damage. Um, so when he has Noxious Poison, just be prepared for the clouds to appear and move out of them appropriately. For talents, you can immediately toss out the Balance and the Guardian talents, a a aka the Tier 3 and Tier 5 talents, because there's nothing to CC, nothing is susceptible to being stunned or knocked back or anything like that. For the remaining talents, I'd recommend Feline Swiftness for your Tier 1 talent. There's a lot of movement, especially if you're tanking He um, and dragging him out of Poison Pools, um, as well as avoiding Misery Slams um, and stacking up for uh, Inferno Strike. For Tier 2, you can pretty much get in pretty good mileage out of both Ysera's Gift and Snarion Ward, um, but I like Ysera's Gift because it allows you to focus more on the fight as opposed to having to micromanage another ability. Uh, for the Tier 4 talents, either Soul of the Forest or Incarnation works, doesn't really matter, pick whatever you prefer. And for the Tier 6 talents, uh, you can get pretty decent mileage out of both Nature's Vigil and Dream of Scenarius. Uh, I don't really recommend Heart of the Wild because while the passive is okay, uh, there's no way, no way to make uh, excellent use of the full duration of the activated portion of that talent.
for legendary items, I'd definitely go for the DPS cloak. There's not that much tank damage going out, while there is a huge potential for cleave, uh, especially during Sun's test desperate measures phase, and while all three of them are active, because you can stack them and cleave them down pretty easily. Uh, for the meta gem, you could go one way or the other, um, but having two helm, two decently itemized helms at this level, this early in the the raid tier is probably a pretty low chance of that happening, um, so just stick with whatever you have, probably the tank meta, because there are other encounters where it is incredibly useful. I hope you enjoyed this video, and good luck in the Siege of Orgrimmar. Don't get behind me. A little bit more on heat. Fun. Yeah, we're good.